All right, well, we have a beautiful day today here in Kansas. Uh, this is to be the third Saturday in a row that I've come here. I'm trying to get it as much as I can um, because it actually snowed a little bit the other day and not even Halloween yet. But today is gorgeous. A little bit of breeze, but that's normal, obviously. All my videos have wind in them. And uh, so let's get to it. Winchester repeater. That is really clear yet. Do you see it? Right on top. Hey, this one's actually marked. Or I can actually see something on this one. Is that JG or JC? I'm not sure. As I've said before, I'm no ammo expert. But I do know that is a large rimfire cartridge. For a rifle. That's all I know. I have a large piece of iron here. Oh. Probably all know what that is. So take a look at this. You recognize it? In the first video I did of this place, um, I found a bow staple which held the bow for a covered wagon to the side of the box. And uh, this looks like half or three quarters of one. And the end's still bent around and it must have broke on this end where it got narrow there. And it's been there ever since. Cool. Dun, 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 da -da. The last video, I found all three pieces of a file. This could be a different staple, but I bet you it's the same one. Oh, brother. Okay, we got one that's a little scratchy. Piece of brass, heavy washer. I have no idea what it would have been for. And it could be farm related for much later. I'm sorry, the uh, shotgun shells here give a variety of signals. They're a nice, strong, loud, low 60s usually, and that's what I had again. Fortunately, this one happened to be a bullet. It looks like it's been hit by a plow. But that's 
still a keeper. There is such a variety of ammunition even out here. Wow. Nice loud mid 60s signal. Sorry about the wind. Thought it'd be right on top. Is that yet another variety? No, that's the... Uh... Okay, this is a drop bullet. And that is the casing right there. So that would be like that if this was straight. That's going right up to that edge. So that's cool. That means a, a soldier was right here. All right, we got a nice high 70s or, or high 60s, low 70s right there. You turkey. I get so many varied signals on shotgun shells here. It's getting a little frustrating. Nice clear 70. And we're right there, I think. I can't hardly see the screen. Right on the surface here somewhere. Yep. Suppose that is what's left of a rifle cartridge. Where are you? Sorry, I can't see the screen. It's too bright. But, uh, okay. All right. Okay, I just pulled out a big old spike. That could have been used on pretty much anything in building the fort. Very cool. piece of lead what is it it's another piece of lead Where are you? You're hiding something from me.
Good little ball. Cool. I'm on my way out, but I just dug the back of a uniform button, I'm pretty sure. I really have to be going, but I'm going to circle around this spot a couple times. See if I can find the other half. Wow. Well, that does it for me for today. I never did find the other half of that button. Of course, you would have seen that if I had. But I'm going to start in that area next time and maybe we'll find it. I don't know. Ooh, slimy. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll meet you back home. Go over what I did find. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Well, we're going to go over really quick what I found, and then I'll let you go. Here's all the trash, which isn't too much when you think about it. Shotgun shells. This, I think, might be a bearing race, the inner bearing race for ball bearings. I'm not 100% sure on that. This nice heavy brass washer. I have no idea what that would have been used for, if anyone has a good idea. Leave a comment. Um, short little nails, square nails, and screw, and a carriage bolt, and a spike. Just would have been used in the general construction of things back then. Hammer and timbers and boards together. Got the two pieces of the bow staple for the covered wagon. cover on a wagon. Got a hook or a bracket or a handle or something hand forged. Um, and you can see the nice twist pattern in there. Blacksmith would clamp this side, put that in a vise, and when that was red hot, grab the other side with his tongs and twist it and get that nice fluted pattern in there. Common practice back then. Um, Five rifle cartridges. This one. Is that the one? Can't hardly see anything. Yeah, it's right there. I don't know if you can see it. It has JC or JG stamped in it. I couldn't find any uh, company with that, that mark on them. But I'm sure someone out there knows what it is. If you watch it and you know, or watch this and you know, please tell me. And two shards of lead. One little round ball. It's flat on one side. And then three complete, well, three bullets. That one's been split open, probably by plow or drill or planter or whatever, what have you. And then these two still have the top end of the casing on them, so they were dropped, and they've just rotted away. And the lonely button, button back, I should say. It does say extra on the back. I can't read the other side. I cleaned it up a bit. Um, and I don't know too much about buttons, but... Uh, I found this, and I found this, these two things, on my way out. I was worried, um, I just wasn't finding the number of things I did in the previous two videos I made, and I was kind of worried that it was already playing out, the site, you know, I wasn't finding as much, and uh, I found these two on my way out in an area I hadn't even looked yet. So I'm definitely going to have to go back again, and uh, I would love to find the front of that button. And maybe there's more. I found all three pieces of that file, I found both pieces of this staple, so maybe I can find both pieces of the button. Who knows? 
But that is it. I'm afraid it's a little bent up. It must have saved the life of whoever was wearing it. Well, it sure would have if it hadn't been for all them other bullets flying in from everywhere. <laughs>